I guess, um, to myself. Um, I had to have an emergency hysterectomy in March, and um, I never thought that I would have the opportunity to be a mom taken away from me. Um, so anyway, this is kind of a love poem to myself. Um, I love Victoria and I do a lot of um, art kind of outreach. Um, I'm usually a dancer, <laughs> um, but as I had my surgery, I'm slowly making my way back into that. Um, but we do music and dance um, kind of on a therapeutic plane, um, especially with um, kids who need some hope in their lives. And um, a lot of the time, people forget that they're also giving us hope. And so... Um, <laughs> maybe. I am not a drunk, but there have been so many times I've been plastered on my own sad tears, forgetting which direction to go and losing any sense of balance. There are too many memories of kissing the wrong person, whispering the wrong name, living in the wrong house because those tears are so addicting. Ask anyone who is trying harder than anything to quit crying. <coughs> drunk on sadness is way worse than drunk on whiskey. <coughs> Ever tried to get help when you're throwing up the depression you've been trying to keep down? No one wants to clean that mess. Mm. But one day I met her, a picture of sobriety, the perfect example of happy, and she held my hair for me. She wiped my tears away, and I didn't ask for them back. I just followed her out and knew it was already better. Astronaut, but her love takes me higher than the rocket ships we can only see out of. My space suit is our future home, the only space around us where we can trust the atmosphere to be breathable, because breathing is so important, even though some folks must not think so. But I know that oxygen enters into every space I allow it, and every single breath I take fills my lungs, replenishes me with air I need to send out a steady stream of I love you. Everything we say carries out into space and echoes on forever, and without enough oxygen, we can only say quick things, and quickness is the opposite of steady. I want to never run out of breath, because too many times someone else has forgotten to breathe deep, and all they could tremble out was no, and those words are there forever. If someone is going to hear my echoes, I want them to only hear things that must be carried on a long wind, words that can wrap around them twice and keep going. You are a beautiful creature, even when you don't feel it. There are so many people who love you and need your emotional CPR. Keep enough breath in you to fill them up. so deeply that only I could reach their inner wounds. Sometimes their mothers are the ones who cut them, and I see that they never escaped their drunken sadness. My heart houses more than my belly ever could, 10 to 15 at a time, and they walk into it themselves because they see the open door, and my doormat doesn't say welcome. It says, please come in. The mantle grows longer with each addition. It will never run out of room for new pictures. And we don't just have the happy ones up, because mantles should be a place of pride, and we are proud of every moment we survived. 
The walls are decorated with the scars of my heart breaks. Some small as nails, and you only notice them when they scratch your arm. Some so large they create in studios where their own works are created. Each one painful, beautiful, and colorful. Walls without art have never felt comfortable to me. I need something to look at, something to relate to. Maybe that's why the broken find their comfort here. I am not a mother. But I will be a home to the daughters of nobodies, to the daughters dropped on doorsteps, to the daughters who believe in storks, the daughters of the daughterless. I am not a mother, but maybe we are all a little bit of what we say we're not.